numbers for the PNW Mini Axe. I'm using uh, Silhouette Studios and a Silhouette Cameo um, die cutter. So what I have here is are the numbers. I have two different sizes. This is a, a big one that could go on the pillars. It's roughly almost 10 inches long and uh, with the die cutter it doesn't matter what the color is but I just use the color to help uh, me see the differences. And here's a smaller number about uh, nine inches long just to use for other locations. So this is these are some numbers I've set up and uh, it's roughly a 12 by 12 sheet I could get about five numbers. So first I'll set up the uh, Cameo and then I'll send this to the printer. All right, I'm using uh, Oracle 651 vinyl white and this is a cutting mat, a 12 by 12 sheet. So I found, even though this is my really first time using it, I found it's easier for me to line the mat up this way and then I could load it in the machine, turn it on and I'm loading the cutting mat. I'm lining it up with some lines here. And now I'll send this, uh, what I've done, to the printer. what it's uh, cutting out. It, I do boxes so I can uh, pull the vinyl off easier and here are the numbers it's going to be. Alright, now the uh, die cutter is finished. I hit unload and I take the sheet off the mat. And I found it for me, it's easier to just peel the sheet off the mat. And now all the lines are here on the die cutter and I just take an X-Acto knife and start pulling stuff off. Here's the one of the rectangles. So I just start peeling away at the vinyl. So these rectangles are the numbers. Then I start pulling the vinyl away from the numbers. So as you can see the PNW and for shapes that are closed I have to pull out the final in the center and same with the P. So there you go there's how the numbers are made. All right now that I've weeded out all the uh, unused vinyl. I'm just going to cut it down to shape and I try to leave a little extra. So I don't know there's so this is the uh, numbers. There's glue on this side and we're going to put it on the cars but one thing to get it onto the car you need transfer paper. So here's uh, for example here's the transfer paper. This is sticky. And this is what the numbers will stick to when you put it on your car. So I'm going to try to align it. Just 
hold it down and it I'll trim it to size so now what happens is the numbers will stick to the transfer paper this clear tape and then you'll put the clear tape on your car and then you'll peel the tape and leave the numbers behind.